We all know that people with type 1 diabetes don't make insulin. You know, like you said, that's it's not a gene target, but we need to make that that protein, you know, mm -hmm. insulin. So they took mouse models or rodent models, made them essentially type 1 diabetic, not, you know, producing insulin. Mm -hmm. And we're able to deliver this therapy. And the difference here uh, with this approach is that they're planning to do it kind of in the muscle tissue. Right. And the good thing about insulin is that you can release it pretty much from anywhere, but the muscle is, is very accessible. You can do, I'm just, I'm doing kind of mimicking these injections that you would do to actually put it in your, your leg, let's say. But they've had really good data in terms of, you know, I don't know if it's curing mm. um, because the disease, I suppose, is still present with type 1 diabetes. But, you know, these animals not needing insulin, normalizing blood sugars. Mm -hmm. Then they moved on to dogs with multiple years of not needing right. insulin. Right. Um, took these dogs that became type 1 diabetic. They were essentially in DKA. There are these great videos of the, putting them on treadmills and things like that and them wow. doing well. Mm -hmm. um, and now some uh, actually primate studies. Yes. Uh, again, showing efficacy. So mm -hmm. this has been tested in as many animals as honestly you can test yes. um, to show that this this works. Mm -hmm. And so now here we are on the cusp of let's do this in people with type one diabetes. Broad strokes, it would be people like Steve and I, mm -hmm. you know, don't make any insulin, doing this one time procedure to get you know this vector into the muscle mm -hmm. to have the muscle start acting kind of like a pancreas, but secreting insulin. Um, and the hope is that it would at least reduce the amount of insulin you would have to take. And ultimately, the ultimate, ultimate goal would be to not need any insulin at all. Right. 